Okay, what you guys are going to need for this project is the following. Wine bottles or beer bottles, yarn that's kind of like rope, hot glue gun, and scissors. And let's get started. Now, this first wine bottle that we're doing is just going to consist of one color. What you want to do is start off at the top, and I like to put a little dab in one of the areas of the top of the bottle and put actually put the rope inside of the bottle and press down really hard and wait till that's completely dry just because it's a start you want it to be neat and you want it to look um, you know in quotation marks professional um, this is a really simple DIY but it gives you an idea of you know, maybe some other ways to use this method. You can wrap, um, if your makeup brushes are in a glass container, you can wrap that in rope to match your room. They have these kind of rope yarn type deals pretty much anywhere. Um, Joann's or Michael's has them. I'm not sure if you can find them anywhere else, but I mean, you can always try. I mean, you never know. But what you want to do is at the beginning of your bottle, you want to make sure that you're hot gluing every time you go around. Um, this just makes it, it secures it better, especially because sometimes depending on the kind of bottle that you're using, there might be ridges for the top to screw on or off. And it just all depends. Just to play it safe, I would just glue down every time you wrap it around. But once you start getting more to the bottom part, like the middle part of the bottle, um, you're not going to have to glue it as much. You can just wrap, 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 and every, you know, six or seven times you wrap it, you glue it. So, you know, it goes by a lot faster than you might think. Um, I would also suggest making sure that it's tight. You want to, you don't want to be able to see the bottle through it. So every few times you want to be able to push up the rope slash yarn up a little bit. But for the most part, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I am going to let you guys know, too, depending on the shape of the bottle that you're using, depends, obviously, if you're going to have to use, you know, if you're going to have to glue more often than not. But it's very simple. This is, you can use these and put um, flower, fake flowers in them. I mean, I, you can put real flowers, too, I guess. But, you know, fake is way cleaner, and it's, you know, you don't want to get, the rope wet it might mess it up and it might be more of a mess if you use real flowers but once you get to the bottom again like the top you want to secure it very well um, I cog glued every piece of yarn slash rope on the bottom but it's completely up to you I just like to play it on the safe side um, but once you're done, you want to make sure that you're cutting really close to the end and then hot glue the tip so it doesn't um, start to fall apart. Now the second bottle, I'm going to do it with two different color ropes. Um, you're basically going to do it the same way, just whenever you get to the point where you want to stop, you want to go ahead and cut it and secure it with hot glue. And I use the end of my scissors um, just to make sure I don't burn myself because hmm, kind of hurts a little bit. Um, then you want to just go ahead and start from right where you stopped. I mean, it's very simple. With this beer bottle that I have, I found that it, it was better if I hot glued it more often than I did with the wine bottle that I used um, first. But um, you can, you know, do like I did, like I use browns and orange. You can do like brown, orange, brown, orange, brown, orange, just make smaller um, pieces of it. Or you can do like I do and just... I stopped halfway like I wanted the middle part of it I'm sorry to be a different color it's you know but it's all completely up to you and you want to make sure that you start and finish at the same side of the bottle you know like so you can have like a you know back to the bottle you don't want to have you know that change or you know where you started the new color to be in the front of the bottle or you know different areas of the bottle then you can't really display it properly but it's really easy. Um, not much to it besides just wrapping. Might have a little, might have to have a little bit of patience, just because sometimes the rope doesn't stay, or you know, you can burn yourself. But this is really, really nice for a centerpiece. You can put it on a corner, on shelves. Um, there's a lot that you can do with this. Thanks so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.